Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we're going to look at the admin interface of this Asus router that is the RTN66U also known as the Dark Knight. Asus has modified the admin interface of this router so let's have a look at the same. So let's go to the admin interface and you need to go to 192.168.1.1 and this is the interface that we get. It's a little bit different from the earlier Asus router there that were more colorful, but this has a little bit of a, I would say a dark interface, grays and blues. And I feel it is a little bit easier because if you see this pane, you get all the options of the router. And in this pane, you get the status of your router. We are connected to the net and the type of encryption that we are using. Right now we are using the WPA2 personal and I suggest that if you have a Wi-Fi router always opt for WPA2. And it also here gives us the number of clients that are connected to this router. Right now I do not have any USB devices connected but we can connect up to two USB devices. And as this is a dual band router, we get the 2.4 gigahertz band and even the 5 gigahertz band. And you can actually set all the preferences for uh, those bands directly from this screen. So that's pretty easy. And uh, it also gives you your LAN info over here. This router uh, adds the guest network. And I have to say it is really impressive because you can add up to six other guest networks apart from the two Wi-Fi networks that we can have on the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band. So a total of eight Wi-Fi networks can be enabled with this router. So if you need multiple guest networks functionality, you can easily do the same with this router on the 2.4 gigahertz and even on the five gigahertz span. Again, we also have this traffic manager option and here we have the QoS option. And if you switch on the QoS, uh, you just need to set the upload and the download bandwidth that we have. For me, it's 12 megabits upload and 15 megabits uh, download. I did that. And the default setting will just enable, uh, give priority to web browsing and gaming and it will throttle down uh, BitTorrent activity. So that will be useful if you have a family where many people will be simultaneously using the connection and let's say somebody is downloading a lot of content via BitTorrent, then also your browsing and gaming session will not get affected. We can also override this and go to uh, the user defined rules and here you can do a lot of customization according to your needs uh, via QoS option. And we also get this parental uh, control options with this. It's a little, little bit basic. Again, we have, uh, and as I had mentioned earlier, this router supports two USB ports and it gives us a lot of options. You can share files using the USB. We can set up uh, FTP server also if you like. And this router also supports actually 3G uh, uh, data card. So if you have a compatible 3G data card, you can connect to this router and connect to the internet via that. Also, one more interesting thing that this router has is a download master. So if you can connect a USB thumb drive or a USB hard drive and you can directly download torrents to this router even when your PC is switched off. Now let me move to the wireless settings and here also you get a lot of options. If you are an advanced user you can toggle around with all these options. Again we, w ha we have WPS settings. We can also set up a bridge network if you would like. So again even in the uh, Wi-Fi settings it offers us a lot of options. And now let's move to the LAN. Again, all the four ports on the back are gigabit ports. Let's go to the WAN setting. Again, uh, this router has a lot of options for that. And you even have UPnP setting. That will be ideal if you use a router a lot for gaming. And you can even control or disable the NAT. Again, uh, it has a lot of options. As you see, port triggering, port forwarding. Uh, DMS rules and NAT pass through. So if you even use a VPN, that will be helpful. Again, this router also supports IPv6, but I could not test the same because my ISP still does not support the IPv6 protocol. Again, we also have a lot of VPN settings with this model. Again, we also have basic firewall settings. You can enable it. You can enable DOS protection. And if you want, you can also log the activity of the same. Again, in the administration tab, by default, the, this router can work in two options. The default is the wireless uh, mode that we are currently testing. And it can also act as an access point if required. So this is the uh, admin interface. Let me show you the traffic manager. Uh, this router can in real time show you the actual bandwidth that is being consumed. Let me do a speed test. Let me show you the same. 
I'm just going to run the speed test now. Let me select a server and let us go back. And as you can see in real time, it shows us the bandwidth that is being used on the router. I found this to the real time uh, graphs to be pretty accurate. You can also toggle it back to last 24 hours. So it will show the activity in the last 24 hours, but I do not uh, suggest that you look at this and because uh, it's not very accurate. And also if you reboot the router, the data is lost. So that's the traffic manager. So you just want to look at the current activity of the router. It is pretty helpful, I would say. So this is the general overview of the admin interface of the Osys RTN66U router. I'll be doing an in-depth review of this router shortly. So stay tuned to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video.